something out there loves us. Therefore, for tonight, I present a time travel horror story to the Midnight Society. Back on the 5th of December 2016, we got a free update called Horizon Signal, written by Alexis Kennedy, a writer renowned for games such as Fall in London and Sunless Sea. And he is kind of known for writing pseudo-horror stories with a rather Lovecraftian twang to it. And this is very similar. Horizon Signal is a time travel horror story within the confines of Solaris. Now, before we actually start this off, unless you seriously want to mess up your species, don't do Horizon Signal. It, it does really mess up your species, but there are some pretty big bonuses that you can get out of it. Now, it's difficult to trigger. I've never had it actually trigger for myself in game. So if you want to play along, all you got to do is open up the console, punch in the event, AKX.8888, and make sure that you have a sign ship selected at a black hole. This should trigger the event, and uh, you can play along with this video. As your scientist arrives at the black hole, you're greeted with an event called Horizon Signal. You get the option to analyze the signal, and this will take 20 days, and it requires a level 2 scientist. This is immediately followed by Gravity is Desire. There's two options here. You can start the event, or it's a trick and move on. You get a bunch of physics for it. Um, it's between 200 and 500, and this ends the event chain. So if you just want some free uh, physics research, that's, this is basically a good way to do it. However, if you go and start the event, Let's go down the rabbit hole, because we're through the looking glass. Let's start Horizon Signal. This is immediately followed by the Worm Event. In the Worm Event, your ship will go towards the coordinates from the previous message, where your science officer goes into a tirade about the Worm. All transmissions end, no trace of your ship will ever be found, and no transmission or debris can be found at this location. What happens? Well, you'll be presented with a new event chain called the Worm in Waiting Signals within your event diary. Get ready, because here we go. After a little while, the black hole becomes active again in the reprise event. The black hole is requesting a couple things. First off, you can send your scientist into the black hole, or at least to the exit point, as it so refers to. This, uh, this kills the leader. Uh, you can also send the uh, leader in there, but rig the ship to explode. If you do this, you will also lose a leader. However, you will find a uh, piece of research on top of that, and you get the Entropic Incursion Technology. You'll get 10% out of it, and it has got a base cost of 4,000. You can buy build the Spiral Feed Power Hub once you finish this. It's a terrible power hub. It's basically a power hub, too, that just reduces happiness by 5%, so it's not particularly great. And you can also ignore it, and this will end the chain. Or at least, it won't end the chain, but it will stop events for now. If you did decide to send your scientist through, you will present it with the I am through event, where your scientist once again goes through delirium and says things about the loop being whole and that they are through. Of course, this kills the scientist, this destroys the ship, but you will get a uh, three of options to pick off from here. This is horrible, this is regrettable, and this is fascinating. Guess what? They all do exactly the same. You're being railroaded from now. After a while, you will be presented with the Trine, the Quine, the Trine. A event where the black hole, or at least something beyond the horizon, is writing love poems for one of your leaders. The same as last time, basically. You can send that leader towards the exit point, or you can set the ship to explode, or you can just uh, ignore things. What happens here is basically the same thing as last time. Um, either it explodes, you get recursion technology, or you can just let it go. If you send the scientists through, however, you will find yourselves with a brand new ship named the Foundling. 
as the ship from the previous leader is sent through pops back out out of the horizon with one message in the log saying what was shall be now from this moment onwards we can stop messing around with the black hole because scientists on our home world have discovered something the loop temple signs in the stone as archaeologists have found a forgotten temple on the remote highlands of your capital world with a Mobius-like serpent consuming its own tail. At least, that's the imagery that's inside of it. And uh, this either merits study or it is ominous. Well, both ends basically do the same thing. Once this is done, you'll be presented with the Loop Temple, Time and Stone. Where you can open the temple up to the public, and this gives you a 5% flat happiness bonus to your capital world, and also gives you a 20% additional research upon a new technology called Doctrine Strange Loop. You can also get the Reserve Temple for Academic Study, which also gives you a flat 20% bonus towards Doctrine Strange Loop. And Doctrine Strange Loop in general, it... um produces four social science, it gives you a 5% ethics divergence reduction, and planetary happiness plus 10%. Um, yeah, you can also get between 300 and 2,000 society research here if you're going to go for the um, academic study option. Or you can say, there is something wrong here, and end the chain. Make sure you do start researching the Doctor in Strange Loop and the incursion technology because you're going to need that later. And let's put it this way, there are some rather annoying things coming up. Now at this point, this could be the end of the chain if you don't know where to go from here. Well, good thing you got me because uh, I'm about to tell you what happens next. All you gotta do is put an Admiral in one of your fleets and just jump it to a random location. What happens now is is that you will find yourselves in the rendezvous event where the Admiral hails you from another ship whilst also leading your fleet. So this is the mini event, a rendezvous. Your Admiral will be presented with himself or herself from another timeline or at least something that appears to be them. You will get a, a series of communication events where you can get a bunch of additional science and also a discussion about the worm and the worm that will be or what was, will be and what will be was in this event. Uh, you will be presented with also a small ship called the Zig Ziggy that you will need to, to destroy. And all of a sudden, the Admiral realizes that they've destroyed themselves. Your Admiral will now get the foredoomed to a rendezvous trait. I'm not actually kind of sure if this thing works, because I've never actually managed to find the actual trait. It doesn't pop up on the character itself. It doesn't really do anything. All it does is that the captain is foredoomed to kill himself or themselves in the future. We now enter into the second act of Horizon Signal, where we're presented with the messenger. Something in space is found. It is an escape pod. And you can research it. It appears to be old and obsolete. However, there is remains found inside. Remains that are strangely similar to your own anatomy. Once you've done researching this, you will find the messenger possibilities as what is found inside is a ancestor or a variant of your species. Perhaps a subject of genetic manipulation by a precursor, who knows? However, one of your scientists gets the option to do some more extensive research. You can come give permission to continue, you can release the funding, or you can stop all research. I highly suggest that you give permission to continue. As soon as this is done, you will get the messenger unleashed, where after some intense research, your scientists find that this species is indeed your own. However, it is an older variant, and sadly enough, it has significantly better cognitive abilities than you would have at this 
point, which is kind of sad. And the scientists agree, so they decided to retrovirally change their biology to more reflect the alien species involved. And now you have the option to execute them. You can execute them and destroy their notes, or you can give them better science equipment to continue their studies. I highly suggest you continue their studies, because you've gotten this far, so why not get even further, shall we? Well, after a while, you're presented with the messenger, a new light, where the scientists have now designed a genophage, a retrophile agent that transforms anything that gets in touch with it into the new species, or at least the old species, because what was will be and what will be was. You can get the option to uh, control the outbreak as they have released it into the atmosphere. This purges every single pop on your capital world, or you could embrace the change. Bring me a sample of the agent and convert the entire species to something else. This is by far the most interesting part of the event chain, because what was shall be means your entire species is converted. This changes both your portraits, it wipes your ethos, it makes you resilient, it makes you the least messenger, which means, obviously, your portrait changes. It may add a, a fanatic militarist or fanatic uh, pacifist, depending whether or not you were either or. It adds the individualist ethic, and that is pretty much it, except for all your base ethics that you already had. Now we get to the part of the chain where things can potentially get rather boring, because you should, by this time, have both research the recursion technology as well as the strange loop doctrine. Uh, the thing with this is, is that there is a third technology. And the problem with it is, is that it's a rare technology. So there's a chance that it doesn't pop up for a while. So I hope that you've managed to run this event fairly early in your campaign because some of these techs, well, it has a base of 4,000, which is pretty high. So you'll have to run potentially through a few texts in the physics tree before Omega Theory becomes available. Omega Theory, like I said, has a base of 4,000s in physics and allows construction of the Omega Alignment. It's a empire unique building and produces eight physics. Whilst you're waiting for this technology, however, there is a bunch of events that can happen. And those are colony events. There is the waiting world where your colonists arrive finding that there are already buildings there, or at least they are mothballed. You can decide to demothball them and put them to use. And you get a bunch of free buildings, including the loop farm. And on top of that, a follow-up on this is the shadow in the walls, where people are afraid of the buildings because something may lurk inside of them or that their security systems are active. You can decide to tear down the buildings at this point or continue on. If you decide to do tear them down, then you will get a happiness malice. Welcome to the final stage of the event chain, the end in the beginning. The worm loves us, or it is not safe. Either or, it doesn't really matter because you will begin construction on the worm entry. And as soon as this is done, you will be presented with two options. The heart and the sun. Yes, you will embrace the worm for what was, shall be, and what shall be was. This changes every single planet within your home system into a tomb world. Now, originally, this included gas giants. This is no longer the case, as uh, it got nerfed into the ground. However, it also adds tomb world preference to your species. Effectively, your capital system can become incredibly overpowered. It doesn't add any additional bonuses to the planet themselves. You don't get any energy or mineral modifiers on the ground, but you do get an enormous amount of additional tiles that you can directly control. This also includes moons and barren worlds, etc. If you decide not to do this, you can go for the Shattered Loop. What this does is it despawns a dimensional horror by your main star. Destroy it. You earn 3,000 energy and 8,000 physics. Both events finish the chain. 
because what shall be, what shall be was. I hope this was interesting to you, and yes, I am aware that there is a bunch of additional events involving the Technosphere, or Infinity Sphere, as some people are referring to it. Uh, it doesn't really add all that much, to be honest. It, it adds a bunch of additional interactions with the Sphere itself, and in all honesty, it's not really that interesting. You pay it a bunch of energy and a bunch of minerals and some stuff happens, and uh, that's pretty much it, really. Um, we can dig into that a little bit later if we want to. However, I haven't had the worm happen in any sort of galaxy where the sphere also spawns. So that is basically my excuse on this one. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you have a little better of an idea of what Horizon Signal does. It is free. You can just download it. Uh, if not, it should already be downloaded into your Steam directory anyway. Just trigger the event. It's uh, AKX.8888. Make sure you have a sign ship selected at a black hole that is within your territory. And let's let loose. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take good care of yourselves and each other.